Hello all, today I am in Pimpama checking out the world's first drive through ramen restaurant in Australia. Yes, pretty exciting stuff. Ramen Dumbo have been around in Queensland for a while, but this is their first drive through restaurant in Queensland. And in fact, it is the first drive through ramen restaurant in Australia, at least according to their marketing. So anyway, I'm excited. Let's check it out. Can I get a... Can I get the shoyu ramen? Shoyu ramen? Yeah. Yep. Any extra toppings for the one? Uh, no, I'll be fine, thanks. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that's fine, thanks. Yep. Um, just drive through to the second window, please. Awesome. Thank you very much. Fairly standard uh, drive through experience so far. Hello. Hi there. Uh, just some fun? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. you Brilliant. Thank you very much. You. Cheers. You, you too. Alrighty, I am back from Ramen Dumbo with the drive through ramen. Let's check it out. So if you've ever gotten takeaway ramen before, you will know that the, the ramen noodles and the soup do come separately because obviously it'll get really soggy. The noodles will get super soggy if you um, put them together. Not great. So there is some, well, there is some assembly required. But first, let's just take a look at this, uh, at the broth and the noodles. All right, so here we have oh, the broth, oh, 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 the shoyu broth. Christ. That is steaming hot. All right, next, the, uh, the toppings, the noodles. Wow, now that looks pretty darn good. Mmm. Now these are super hot and the lids were very hard to remove, which is which is actually pretty good. That's what you want from like, you know, takeaway stuff. So well done there. Good job. Anyway, let's put the broth on the noodles. Alrighty, here we go. Go try some of the bamboo. Mmm. This does smell really good. Let's get some noodles happening. Uh, you do need to stir them up a bit just to get them all uh, loose. You know, when they're when they're packed separately, they do kind of stick together a bit. Alrighty, look at that. Yum. You can smell how rich it is, just... Mm. Mm, yum. They add this uh, yuzu pepper sort of thing. They had some on the top there, and it uh, it's really nice. It adds this lemon pepper sort of aspect to the whole affair. Mm. I have managed to bury the uh, the chashu somehow. There we go, the, uh, the, the roast pork there, the barbecue pork, wow. Look how soft that is, that just falls apart on the chopstick. Beautiful stuff. Mmm, very soft, very flavorful. If I, like, drove a car for a living or something, you know, this would be a good option. If you're in a rush and you want, like, ramen, then this is pretty good. This was actually pretty quick and really quite tasty. I um, I'm eating this a little bit after the fact, and it has maintained a pretty good level of quality there. Yum. Yeah, ramen actually do a pretty good bowl of ramen. Probably one of the better ones in Brisbane. There are a lot of uh, ramen places nowadays in the uh, Gold Coast Brisbane region, but Dumbo, yeah, they know what they're doing. They've been in Japan for quite a while, I think. Yeah, actually, I do remember they they had a uh, they had like the digital menus, like the QR code menus pre-COVID, pre-COVID. So that was um, a bit of an innovation 
you know, before the COVID days, they, they had the uh, the table ordering from your phone, which is pretty cool. And now they've got drive through So they are innovating. Well done to Dumbo for that. Mm, this is actually really good. Is it 1950 worth of good? You may think not. You may think not. And you know, like, you can get some pretty good instant ramen uh, these days. So, yeah, the price the price might turn a few people off, but in terms of convenience and taste, this is a winner. And a bit of a novelty. I do wonder how many places outside of Japan you can get drive-through ramen. I have I did look around. There are some places in Japan that do drive-through ramen. There's a place called Hachiban, I think, on the uh, on the west coast of Japan. Their thing seems to be like drive-through ramen. That's kind of their interesting, unique selling point. And I don't know, maybe that will take off uh, here, but you know, maybe not. I don't know. But I would say if you live near here, you want ramen, and you don't want to put on pants, then ramen dumbo is your is your go-to. They do have a a sit-down area as well, which I've been to a few times, and it's it's quite good, quite homely. Um, you can get a beer, you can get gyoza, you can get um, karage chicken, I think, probably. A pretty extensive menu. If you have been to Japan and are longing for some ramen, then ramen dumbo will uh, will suffice, will do you, will suit. Mm. Anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, check that out. If you're anywhere near Pimpama, which uh, you know you're probably not, but but anyway, do uh, do check this out because it is unique. It is novel. It's uh, it's something interesting. And also, if you like drive-through places, there is a drive-through subway very close to here. So I don't know what it is about Pimpama and drive-through places, but uh, they they do seem to love it. They love their drive-throughs. Um, yeah. Anyway. Many thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. Cheers. Rich broth, chewy noodles, and the, the pork is, is cooked to perfection. What's not to like? Ah, uh, mmm, that's a good broth. Yum. Moist.